Hello students, welcome back. This question is from gate 2018 exam. It's for one mark. So let us first read the statement, then I'll provide you the solution. It says, consider the sequential circuit shown in the figure, where both flip-flops used are positive edge triggered D flip-flops. The number of states in the state transition diagram of this circuit that have a transition back to the same state on some value of n is okay so we need to find out how many states have a self loop in state transition diagram for this circuit now for solving this question we don't actually need to draw the state transition diagram we can solve it without the diagram also suppose this value of n is 1 okay so let us first analyze for value of n is equal to 1 See, whenever the state of counter is 0, 0. In this case, if n is high, what will happen when a positive clock is given? When a clock is given, this will shift here and this one will shift here. Okay, so the next state is going to be 1, 0. Because this one is going to come here, this one, this 0 is going to come here and this 0 will be discarded. Okay, so... In case of input is equal to 1, the output is 1, 0. Okay. What will happen when these values are 0, 1? Okay. When the state is 0, 1, what is going to happen? See, this one will be discarded. Okay. This one will come here and this 0 will go there. So, the state will be 1, 0. In case of 0, 1, the state will be 1 0 okay now what will happen in case of 1 0 when the current state is 1 0 in this case also you can see that 0 is going to be discarded and the output will be 1 1 okay actually we don't even need to know what is this what is the value of second output because anyways it will be discarded so the next output is given by these two numbers. Okay. Now suppose the current state is 1, 1. In this case, you will have a self loop. See, earlier state was 0, 0. The next state is uh, 1, 0. So it is not a self loop. We are actually changing the state. Here also we are changing the state. Here also we are changing the state. But when the current state is 1, 1, next state will also be 1, 1. See, if currently the state is 1, 1 and clock is given, this one will shift here. So, the new value will be 1 and the old value which is 1 will shift here. So, new value here also will be 1. That means we didn't change the state. So, this is a self loop. So, we have found first such case, whatever they were asking, they were asking how many self loops are there or how many times we don't change a state, uh, state. First case is this. Now you can easily guess when value of n is 0 on state 0 0 the output or next state will also be 0 0. Okay. So next case is this. So there are total two such cases. Answer to this question is 2. See when current state is 0 1 and value is 0, n is 0. In this case, new state is going to be 0, 0. In this case, new state is going to be 0, 1. In this case, also new state is going to be 0, 1 only. Okay. So, one case is this. Input is equal to 0. Q and Q both are 0, 0. When input is equal to 1, both are 1, 1. Okay. Now, if you want to see the state transition diagram, I'll just show that also. See, these are the four possible states. If value of n is 0, on this state, we'll remain here only, okay? And if value of n is 1, new state will be 1, 0, okay? So just take the value of n and the first bit. Value of n is 1, first bit is 0. So the next state is 1, 0, like this, okay? So this is 1. Now this state is done. Here, if value of n is 0, 
the new state will be zero zero. Okay. So on zero, this is the transition. On one, new state will be one zero. Okay. So this is the transition. On this state, if value of n is one, this will be the transition. Okay. Similarly, I am completing the diagram. So this is the state transition diagram. You can see we only have two self loops. So answer is two. Okay.